Greetings viewers and welcome back to the channel. Now today is very exciting because it's go fast day for the Honda Grom, which is a lot of fun, but it's always kind of iffy if you're gonna get up to freeway speeds once you hit the freeway, because there could be a hill, there could be wind, and if there's any of those things, it's likely going to be much slower, which isn't good. So today we're gonna put a stage two kit on it with some added creature comforts, and hopefully that'll get us the extra power we need to keep sustained highway speeds. I did a control test, so stay tuned to the end if you wanna see the difference in speeds. And in aims of making this video shorter, I decided to bring over my almost as handsome cousin who happens to be a automotive mechanic. Okay, I got my cousin. And uh, so the parts going on are aftermarket levers, then we have uh, frame sliders, and then for the performance stuff, we have Chimera intake, a zoom exhaust with loop, uh, the DHM motoring cam, and the ECU flash from DH motoring. So which ones do you want to do first? Go the cam. Yeah, right. you do the cam, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, I didn't want to do the cam. Okay, you do that. Oh, wait a second, I almost forgot our safety gear. Oh, ah, there you go. Perfect, safety first. Safety first. Cheers. Okay, well I'm gonna start on the intake. <clears throat> I think I'll start on the intake and if I get in your way, then I'll just work on the levers. Okay, sounds good. Oh yeah, let's go. <clears throat> I knew I should have brought more stuff. But this is a half inch, Landon. I know, that's what I'm saying. I got, I got a 3 8 adapter somewhere. Cam. You're gonna be done the cam before I even understand how to take the air box off. That is a, it's quite a big difference. Really? Yeah, if you look at the lobe, see if I can line it up for you. If you look at the, the top of the lobe on both cams, you can see that the one is a lot higher. Uh, let me see. I don't know if you can see it where you're looking. <laughs> it's tough to see. <laughs> okay, well I can see it. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm glad somebody can see it. Yeah, they are. They are a lot higher. They're physically, you can see they're a lot, a lot higher. Okay. So here we go. New cam pops right in. Okay. <sighs> like it was built for it. Oh, good. Get it. Okay. Cam's done. You're done. Well, I just have to adjust the valves, but okay. Other than that, well, I haven't even got one side of a lever on yet. There she is. That was easy. That's because I did it. I know. <laughs> okay, I'll do yours too. <laughs> there we go. I did a thing. Okay, go. Oh, yeah. Hey. Now we can see the air box. We kind of got mess everywhere right now, but we're making progress because we got levers, got levers on. That's kind of nice. And then we got the air box off, which is good. And we're gonna do the valve clearances. And we're gonna pop the new exhaust on, put in the intake. And I think we can put all the panels back on. Then we got a, the ECU is here, I think, somewhere. There it is. There's the ECU. So we'll put the new one of those on. Then we should have a racing machine. Okay. Gotta feel it up. All right, so I screwed up uh, the Chimera intake that I ordered. It was an honest mistake, but this is for a 50 millimeter throttle body 
which isn't a stock throttle body because we're wondering why it wouldn't fit. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put the stock air box back on so it'll run and I'll catch you guys when the proper intake is on and then we can actually see what the proper performance will be. Okay, everything is put back together. We don't have the Chimera intake, but we're gonna start it because it's got the cam, it's got the exhaust. We did the TPS reset. Am I doing the honors or are you? Oh boy. Oh, that sounded better. running like ass, but it's running. <laughs> I like that. I'm gonna open the garage now. <laughs> Two weeks later. I have no beer. I have no dentin. But I was still able to put on the rest of the parts without too much trouble. So we have the fancy frame sliders on now. I wasn't able to buy another Chimera intake, so I opted for the next best thing, which was a Coso tube airbox mod, which will give us similar performance. Now, I'm gonna show you the control tests, but keep in mind the numbers I'm shouting out are the indicated speedometer, which is notoriously bad on a stock ROM. So I'm gonna flash on the GPS kilometers as well, because that's what we're going to use to compare the speeds. All right, it's time to see what this thing can do on the freeway. Bone stock. <laughs> I didn't eat breakfast for this reason alone. <laughs> okay, 87. There's 100. And keep in mind, there's, uh, there's no wind right now. So this is a pretty good test. If there was a headwind, <laughs> we would be doing significantly less. And I'm not talking right now. I just want to see what I'll do not talking. So we hit 105-ish, 104. Well, this video kind of took a interesting turn because I was gonna show you the speed run with all the parts on and it was gonna be awesome. We we're gonna have a great conclusion, but I kind of went out off camera and it wasn't any faster. So I kind of felt like an idiot. Uh, I'm like a thousand US dollars into all these parts and I wasn't getting any higher speed. So to save my sanity, I had to think. And I think what was going on is with the aftermarket cam, I think it's maybe changing the power band of the engine, uh, which also with these parts, it allows us to rev the engine higher safely. Um, and the, down the freeway, it was kind of gassing out at quite a low RPM. So I thought back to my bicycle days, when you're climbing a hill on a bicycle and it's too high of a gear, you drop it down a gear and sometimes you can climb the hill faster because you're actually able to pedal the dang pedals. So essentially we're gonna drop a tooth in the front and that will give us the same idea. It'll be less stress on the engine. Going down the freeway will be a higher RPM. So let's go test that because if that doesn't work, I'm out of ideas and I'm not putting any more engine parts into this dang build. <laughs> let's go see what happens. All right, freeway speed test with all the new parts. Same length of freeway, same conditions. Let's go, baby. 70 kilometers an hour. 93, 94. 95 kilometers an hour. This video is sort of an interesting conclusion because is it faster on the freeway? Not really, no, not in terms of top speed. But after having a play with it, I found that it is way better off with wind resistance because with the stock parts, wind could drop it down as much as 20% in the speed. Now I'm not really getting that. I'm getting pretty consistent speeds uh, without or with wind and with or without hills. So I think that's really the take home with a stage two kit is I can't really say it's gonna make the bike super fast or anything, but it just gives you a little bit more consistent power. Now, these bikes are like Lego and you can do 
anything you want to them. But once you start changing the internals past the stage two, like a higher compression piston, then all of a sudden you're, you know, adding more heat to the engine, then you need an oil cooler. And then the extra power, you're fighting the weak parts inside the engine. So it really becomes an expensive game of whack-a-mole. So really, if you want a faster bike to go down the freeway, just buy a faster bike. If you want to have a little fun and put some parts on, it's going to make a hell of a lot more noise with the stage two. You're going to have a better power band in my opinion. And yeah, you're going to get a little bit more horsepower, but don't expect a ton. So hopefully you learned something. I don't know if I have, but it was definitely fun in the process anyways. So thanks for watching. Uh, I'll let you know if anything changes with this bike. Uh, subscribe to the channel, like all that good stuff. Catch you guys in another video. Peace.